What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host here at Half Men Half Tech. So when it comes to watchOS 8, I'll be happy to let you know that today we finally have the final beta, also known as the release candidate, which previously used to be known as the GM or the Golden Master version. On my Apple Watch Series 6 that you are seeing here, you can see that the update size comes in at exactly 218 megabytes and I'm updating from watchOS 8 Beta 8. Obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. You can see my device here. I'm on the Apple developer website and you can see that today Apple released Xcode 13 release candidate and operating systems you can see that today apple released ios 15 release candidate ipad os 15 release candidate and also tv os 15 release candidate as well as watch os 8 rc since this is the video for this so i've already updated my apple watch let me just put this back down here so i've already updated my apple watch that you are seeing here and obviously you can see that we have a new watch face but before we get into that let's go into the software changes that came with this update so if you go into settings go to general and then go to the about you can see the new build number that we have here on watch os 8 rc and it's a final build number and you can see that it's 19r346 this has been updated from beta 8 that had 19r5342a so this is probably what you're going to see when this version of this update comes out very soon and speaking of when this update is going to be released let me show you since that has been updated on apple's website so if you go to this website beta.apple.com and you go to watchOS 8 you'll be able to see that it says that watchOS 8 is going to be available on the 9th uh, on the 20th of September which is this coming Monday so watchOS 8 is coming out on that date now I've already shown you the software changes that came with watchOS 8 now what about the new features and changes that came with watchOS 8? This is the first change that you actually saw from the introductory part of this video and it's a new watch face and on the iPhone if you open the Apple Watch app and go to uh, my watch or face gallery you actually be able to see that we have world time which is now available since we know that the Apple Watch Series 7 is now out and it's bigger so you can see that it adds about 24 time zones and if I'm to show you my Apple Watch here you can see the different time zones that we have and the way this Apple Watch face works let me just show you here so you can see different cities New York Denver you can see Tokyo you can see Moscow and it shows you where you are right now because right now I'm in Vancouver and you can see the time right now this is the hour hand and the minute hand and the second hand so Vancouver you can see the exact time and then it has a 24 hour not notation so you can see that 24 begins there or midnight and then it sort of goes onwards up to again until you get to like um, just slightly before midnight so it's a new watch face that came with this update and that is the first thing that I noticed that came with this update and also something that has been updated with this watch OS 8 release candidate has to do with the Apple watch icon so this icon that you are seeing here it's been made slightly larger it's more notable when you search for it here so when you search for watch and you compare this to what you had on watch os uh, 8 beta 8 you will see that this one has been made larger to go hand in to go hand in hand with what has been released by apple today since the apple watch series 7 has gotten like a size increase in terms of the millimeters we now have a 41 and 45 as depicted by apple's event today that is another change also another thing that i would like to highlight when it comes to watch os 8 release candidate this is mentioned although people in the states are saying that it's not yet supported and it has to do with the wallet app so for the united states soon you'll be able to add your driver's license to your wallet app but people are saying that at the moment this is not yet fully supported it's just mentioned in the release notes and also i want to show you something when you 
play something on the iPhone so let me get out my iPhone here then I'm gonna play like a random video on YouTube and then I'm gonna show you the new screen that we have here when you shows the playing now and not playing now so you can see that it shows that iPhone is playing and it's playing on YouTube that is a new screen that has been updated and then when you stop the playing you will see that it actually says that it's not playing and it's on the Apple watch where you are seeing this notification and the iPhone is on YouTube but it's not playing the last thing that has been updated since we know that this is mentioned by Apple from the event that they released has to do with the workout app so if you go to the outdoor cycling this one and you fall this Apple watch will actually be able to uh, do that for detection feature and it will give you an option to either call emergency services SOS or select an option that says that you are okay so it's good for safety and it's actually here with watchOS 8 release candidates now other than that that's how this watchOS 8 RC came in on my Apple Watch Series 6. Like I mentioned, this update is coming out very soon. It's coming on the 20th of September. So next week, uh, Monday, you can see that that is when we are going to have this update. Now, other than that, that's about it for me when it comes to watchOS 8 RC. It does bring about new features and changes as well as new portrait watch faces and many, many health uh, new features which I'm going to be covering in another video when this update officially comes out and in the meantime enjoy the update this is the watchOS 8 release candidate if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and I'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace